Hello my dear friends, Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Top Listen for you. Friends, we are discussing about the urinary system, human urinary system. In the previous lectures, right, this was our previous section that we had discussed and this was the structure of the kidney that I had discussed and uh, this was the lecture before that which was the coverings of the kidney and the segments of the kidney we call it vascular segments of the kidney now i had told you that i will discuss about the branches of the renal artery which enters the kidney and divides into which type of branches so we are going to discuss in this lecture the blood supply of the kidney and the drainage of the kidney also right so i hope you have watched these lectures and you have learned something now let us go in detail of vascular supply or we say the blood supply of the kidney so let me write here with this red color the blood supply of the kidney blood supply of kidney clear friends we will know all the things in diagrams and we will see everything very clearly friends <clears throat> let me make a kidney here first of all only a single kidney then we will take two segments or two we will take two loops of the kidney and we will draw them separately and discuss all the blood supply there in that diagram so let me draw here for example this is a kidney and this is the anterior view of the kidney anterior view right anterior and the same kidney we have turned it and we are looking at the posterior view of the of the same kidney so this is the posterior view clear i hope you are understanding now we had told you that if we make a section of the kidney if this is a kidney and this is the section of the kidney we will see that interiorly the kidney is divided into four segments uh, and posteriorly it is divided into only one segment right so the interior segments from the previous lecture we know this was the superior segment right and here was the in inferior segment this one right and here it is divided into superior interior and inferior interior so how many segments totally in the interior side four segments superior which one inferior superior interior right inferior interior so these four segments and in the posterior side it is divided into only one segment why because this segment is this one right so you know i had told you that if you turn the kidney like this look if this is the interior side so and this is this will be the in, inferior segment right so if you turn it you will see the inferior segment also here so this is totally the inferior segment which i am holding in my hand inferior segment so inferior segment is seen on both sides interiorly and inferiorly and the superior segment is also seen in interiorly and inferiorly so this is superior segment but there is two segments right in the interior segment extra and the posterior segment posterior side there is only one segment right so we say that this is only the posterior segment this is the posterior segment so how many segments total there are five segments this is superior or upper this is inferior or lower segment right this is this is on anterior side but superior to this one so we call it anterior superior anterior superior segment right and this one is anterior because it is present on anterior side but inferior to this superior segment that's why we call it anterior inferior segment okay and this one is totally posterior segment posterior segment clear friends now let us see the blood supply look carefully I will draw a rough diagram first of all then we will clear it here for example my dear friends this is the abdominal aorta right this is your abdominal aorta so same will be drawn here this is abdominal aorta you just keep uh, your eye on the marker so that you will not be confused 
that which part is this one look carefully and here is your renal artery right on both sides there will be renal arteries but we have drawn only one side so this is your abdominal aorta this is abdominal aorta and here again this is your abdominal aorta now look carefully uh, okay this is renal artery this is abdominal aorta this is renal artery so we call it the renal artery renal artery and here is also your renal renal artery now look carefully what will happen next the renal artery gives off two branches renal artery gives off how many branches it gives off two branches one branch comes anteriorly right anteriorly and one branch goes posteriorly so the posterior branch i will draw in dotted manner right so this is posterior now if you look at the artery from the superior side from this side right you are looking from this side here so how, what how will it look for example you are looking from here right this you are looking from anterior side but there you will look from superior side so it will you will look like this right superior so what will happen look carefully here i will draw that diagram this is the renal artery right renal artery renal artery will give a posterior branch there will be a posterior branch right and there will be an anterior branch so the anterior branch will supply blood to the anterior segments and posterior branch will supply blood to the posterior segment it's quite easy this is the posterior branch right this is the anterior branch so here is your renal artery right this is the posterior division which division posterior division right and this is the anterior division anterior division i hope you are understanding me right so for example if here is the renal artery right you are looking from above so here will be a anterior division and here is a posterior division like this the posterior division will go to the posterior segment anterior division will supply blood to the anterior divisions of the kidney clear friends or anterior segments of the kidney now look carefully what will happen this is our anterior a branch right the anterior branch will give a superior branch right anterior division will give a superior branch we will see all these branches then there is an inferior branch right and we will see all these branches also inferior branch then there is an anterior inferior branch to the anterior inferior segment like this right and my friends there is an anterior superior branch to the anterior superior segment of the kidney like this it's quite beautiful arrangement right so it's like this totally so how many branches the anterior division gives anterior division gives four branches it's like this the superior segmental artery right superior segmental it's like this then there is the inferior segmental right it go, comes to the inferior segment this one right and then there is the superior anterior segmental right superior anterior segmental and then there is the inferior anterior segmental branch so how many branches the anterior division of the uh, kidney of the renal artery gives four branches right and these four branches enter your kidney and supply blood to the anterior four segments right and then what happens the posterior branch right this branch this is our uh, look this is an anterior branch it goes goes to the anterior side of the kidney on that side and here is our posterior sig posterior division of the renal artery so it will give a superior an inferior branch it will give a middle branch like this middle branch and supply blood to the mass of the kidney and it will give a superior branch so it's like this right so here is the anterior division right four branches here is the posterior division three branches it gives and all the three branches of the posterior division supply blood to the posterior segment 
right and all the four branches of the anterior division supply blood to the anterior four segments i hope you are understanding me friends right so uh, once again i will tell you what is this branch this is the anterior division anterior division it's quite easy right and here is your posterior division right posterior division of renal artery anterior division of renal artery now this anterior division will give how many branches the four branches and what are these four branches you know better the anterior superior branch or we we just call it superior segmental artery superior segmental branch or artery right then this one is anterior anterior superior okay and it goes to the segment superior segment so we call it segmental segmental artery done and this one is anterior inferior segmental branch this one anterior inferior segmental and this one is the inferior segmental there was superior segmental this one is the inferior segmental right friends inferior segmental artery or branch and here only the posterior segment there is only posterior division so we call it the posterior segmental artery this one is the posterior segmental posterior segmental artery clear friends so this these are the major divisions of the renal arteries major divisions now we will enter inside the mass of the kidney and we will see all the other branches and blood supply of the kidney so for clear understanding and for clear purpose we will take only two or three segments of the kidney we will draw it here and we will follow all those branches which enter the kidney and divide into which which branches right so let me draw here segment of the kidney you just consider that this is a very small part of the kidney but i have enlarged it right so you know there are uh, segments then inside the segments there are loops right so in the previous lecture i had told you that there are renal segments and then there are renal loops so we had discussed this was one loop right this was another loop this was another loop right so the part of the medulla right the pyramidal part of the medulla and uh, along that the cortical part this is one loop of the kidney right and inside the loop there were lobules right and about lobules i had also told you okay so let's do that practice look here this is you just consider my friends that this is one loop right this is another loop and we will see them and here is another loop right and we will follow all those arteries right inside the loops you know this outer part is the cortical part this is the cortex clear friends this is cortical part this is medullary part in the medulla you know there were renal pyramids so here are renal pyramids let me draw one pyramid here these are your renal pyramids here again we have renal pyramid and here is also your renal pyramids these are renal pyramids we are going very slowly no problem but we want to learn everything okay so let's arrange it okay now look carefully done then in between the pyramids there are renal columns what are these these are renal columns so let me name all these parts this is cortex right these are pyramids done and these are the renal columns renal columns now let's go in detail you just consider that this is an artery for example for example 
this is an artery which comes to the this is anterior superior segmental artery so look carefully this is your segmental artery right friends just follow me segmental artery segmental artery will give branches to the lobes so this is one lobar artery right this is another lobar artery right here is for example here is another lobar artery and here is another lobar artery so we will follow all these listen to me very very carefully this is segmental artery right that one then the segmental artery will give lobar arteries right this artery will give my friends you just please clear the concept of the lobe let me color it this is one lobe of the kidney this is one lobe right friends this is another lobe i hope you understand now and this is another lobe of the kidney right so how many lobes we have here three lobes right and here is another here is other so other lobes of the kidney so the segmental artery will give lobar artery lobar artery the lobar arteries will give branches which we call interlobar arteries right these are interlobar arteries in between the lobes the arteries which are in between the lobes are called interlobar arteries and this one will also give interlobar artery and like this i hope you understand this is interlobar artery and here is again another interlobar artery from that branch and also from this side interlobar artery right so let's name them you will not forget what is this this is segmental segmental artery right these are what are these these are lobar arteries right and what are these these are interlobar arteries these are interlobar arteries it's quite easy now what will these interlobar arteries do interlobar arteries will give other branches which we call the interlobular arteries but before that they will join together look carefully in the cortical region above the renal pyramids they will join each other right they will join each other like this so these are called the arcuate arteries arcuate arteries why because they are making arcs so we call them arcuate arteries arcuate arteries done so in the cortical region the interlobar arteries will join each other and they will make arcuate arteries and now listen to me friends inside these loops renal loops there are in renal lobules look carefully in the loops there are lobules so inside the loops this is one loop this is lobule this is another lobule and lobule i had clear the concept of the lobule in the previous lecture that when many nephrons will drain their contents into one collecting duct that part is called lobule so look carefully from these arcuate arteries there will be interlobular arteries from the arcuate arteries there will be interlobular arteries so these are the interlobular arteries clear these are enter lobular arteries they will from the interlobar region they will enter to the interlobular region so inside the loops there are lobules right so what are these arteries these are enter lobular arteries right now look carefully here will be lobules so we say that from the lobules from interlobular arteries there are small small arterial branches which will enter the glomerulus we call them the afferent arterioles 
right from interlobular arteries there will be small small branches of arteries will enter the glomerulus and i will enlarge this area here and i will show you the uh, the efferent arterioles so these are the what are these these are the efferent arterioles right so efferent arterioles will enter the glomeruli right these are the glomeruli right like this so all these are the glomeruli right now let's enlarge this small part i will take it there look carefully for example this is the glomerulus right and this is the first convoluted part loop of henley second convoluted part and this is the collecting duct like this right now what will happen from the interlobar arteries interlobar arteries for example this is an interlobar artery right this is an interlobar artery there will be an artery separate and enter the glomerulus and enter the bowman's capsule and will make a bunch here like this and will leave it again right so what is this artery quite easy what is this this is enter interlobular interlobular artery done and what is this which enters the bo the, the bowman's capsule this is efferent arteriole efferent arteriole done and what is this which is leaving the the capsule this is efferent arteriole efferent arteriole right efferent arteriole and what is this part this is called the glomerulus glomerulus right so they will uh, they, uh, there will be the filtration of blood and the filtrate will be taken by the nephron so this is the nephron so this is efferent arteriole done my friends i hope you understand now now what will happen again next the efferent arteriole will enter the glomer the, the bowman's capsule and will make the glomerulus and again it will come out as the efferent arteriole now efferent arterioles will join the peritubular plexuses plexus means when there are lots of branches meet, meet together lots of branches meet together so look carefully listen to me this is one efferent arteriole this is other efferent arteriole other efferent arteriole like this so they will come in the peritubular area peritubular means around the tubule around which tubule around nephron that's quite easy this is one nephron right this is one nephron now look carefully this is the efferent arteriole glomerulus efferent arteriole efferent arteriole will make here peritubular network peritubular network means they will uh, join the they will join the tubules they will uh, they will make a circle around the tubules and they will join the peritubular plexuses along with veins they will join the veins so here are also veins right like this what will happen the efferent arteriole shortly we say that the efferent arterioles will uh, join the venous channels that's quite easy so the efferent arteriole will come out they will join the veins they will join the veins like this okay now what will happen the the peritubular and uh, network or the uh, plexuses will make interlobular veins right we took the arterial blood and we are not now taking back the venous blood so what are these these are interlobular veins right like this so these are interlobular veins you understand now clearly the arterial tree has made a connection between uh, with the veins so these are interlobular veins now interlobular veins here they will connect with each other and they will make arcuate veins right like this so these are the 
arcuate veins they will join each other and then from arcuate veins there will be interlobar veins right like this these are the interlobar veins the same procedure will be followed again these are interlobar veins right so what has happened i will draw a sketch and i will tell you about everything you you please just don't be confused right so these are the interlobular veins interlobar veins now interlobar veins will combine same will be the case these are segmental veins right like this okay so these are lobar veins so they will interlobar veins will combine and they make lobar veins right and they make lobar veins like this and again it will also come and they make lobar so these are lobar veins you know here i have written lobar artery so lobar veins and lobar veins will combine and they make segmental veins and segmental veins will combine and they will make renal vein and renal vein will be drained into so lots of segmental veins lots of segmental veins will combine and they make renal vein and renal vein will be drained into what it will be drained into the inferior vena cava so this is the whole blood supply of the kidney i hope you understand so these are segmental veins segmental veins this is renal vein right these are lobar veins lobar veins done friends so all the this system occurs inside whole kidney now let us make a very simplified sketch of what we have learned right now here i will make uh, a, a relationship between the blood supply and venous drainage of the kidney look carefully what happens there is you know there is abdominal aorta right there is abdominal aorta clear friends now from abdominal aorta there is branch called renal artery right renal artery now renal artery will give segmental arteries what segmental arteries okay segmental arteries will give what lobar arteries lobar arteries done lobar arteries will give enter lobar arteries done now look it's quite easy we have written here this is segmental artery this is lobar uh, segmental artery these are lobar arteries and lobar arteries will give interlobar arteries and interlobar arteries will give those arcuate arteries arcuate arteries done then arcuate arteries will give interlobular branches enter lobular arteries done then enter lobular arteries will give what they will give afferent arterioles yes they will give afferent arterioles we know here we know afferent arterioles right they will enter the glomerulus then the afferent arterioles will give the efferent arterioles efferent arterioles right then the efferent arterioles will come and join the peritubular plexus so let me write it with this color peritubular plexus right now the peritubular plexus they will join the interlobular veins right they will join the look carefully now we are taking back the blood they will join the enter lobular veins right like this here i told you these are the interlobular veins the blue color right then the interlobular veins will make the arcuate veins like this they will make arcuate 
veins they are taking the blood back the arcuate veins will make which veins enter lobar veins enter lobar veins then then the enter lobar veins will make the lobar veins lobar veins then then the lobar veins will make the segmental veins segmental veins then segmental veins will combine and they will make renal vein renal vein and renal vein will drain into the inferior inferior vena cava right and inferior vena cava will go to the right atrium done so this is the whole the blood supply of the kidney and the branches and everything that we discussed here and this is the whole sketch of that i hope you understand it very very clearly done friends this is the blood supply of the kidney in this lecture we discussed about the blood supply of the kidney now you can take picture of all these things take a picture of it right and then also take a picture from it done now friends i hope you understand see you guys in the next lecture we will discuss uh, about the lymphatic drainage and about the innervation of the kidney everything so see you guys in the next lecture till then allah hafiz